Hello, hello, Glitz fam. Hello, happy Monday. This is me, Nancy. Welcome back to Glitz Assistance of Live Tutorials. Hope everyone having a fabulous weekend and a really productive Monday. I'm so excited to be back with you. Thanks so much, Instagram fam, Facebook fam, YouTube fam, TikTok fam, and Twitch fam for tuning in. Hope we're going to having a fun on this tutorial. So today I'm so excited. We're going to be back with Monday Gel Polish. So I know that Glitz has so many colors, which is totally over 53 colors of a solid color on the gel, col gel polish collection. As well as I believe it, nine colors of the cat eyes and eight colors of Aurora gels. And then quite a few of the gel colors from the uh, gel palace from a subscription box. If you uh, sub the box, you notice that there's a lot of different colors in it. And the last three months, there is a box, you know, on each box I have like is color palettes, which is have four colors instead of three colors. So I'm so excited. So we have quite a lot of different colors. But one of the things that's really cool about Glitch Gel Palettes, I'm really enjoying it when you polish, especially for beginners. It's really easy, even though for me, at many years being in the nail industry, and I really enjoy it. It's so easy to polish when I pick up the gel polish. It's really nice and it's opaque, so it's not runny at all. So when I pick it up, it doesn't give me of the like how do I say a panics um, thing that is gonna runny at all when I polish it. So this in today's, I am doing like some designs on the top of the colors we, a lot of you are on glitch up polish you know exactly what i'm talking about it's really easy to polish it's no streaking at all then it's not runny pigment is really pigmented so i'm using the number 52 is beige it's really nice i was really like this one this one if you love like um this is this number 52 so if you love a really nice kind of a nude, a little bit pinkish nude, this is going to be a perfect, perfect color. It's also, it have a matching liquid, uh, the powder, two-in-one powder acrylics with this color as well. And then the colors, the second colors I am using is number 19, Light Nude. This is also one of my really nice colors that I like to ombre as well for uh, even the colors of acrylics and also the gel polish so this is number 19 so if you have a class this look have a light pink looks really good in person instead of uh, under the lights and it's really cool like a soft light pink um hi zix thanks so much for tuning in hope i got the right name on instagram and then oh looks like a uh, really nice have a light image under the camera of youtube and Facebook, Instagram is kind of really nice and bright. And then this, the colors I really also like too. Thing I didn't really care much for, but I like it a lot. It's like um, it's almonds, and it's also in the collection of the fall collection, um, the spring collections for the gel palettes as well. So it's really like it's uh remind me of you know, it's like well, this is the almond milk, the name of it, but it's just really cool. Like have um like creamy colors really cool and the last one i did is the almonds and i did one coat of the almonds milk colors and i put in one coat on the top which is the milky white on the top so that's why you see that is a little bit of like lighter creamy colors you can definitely with good gel polish you can definitely layer them and to make it a little bit different colors that if you uh prefer all right, so we have four colors that I um, have it right here. So we're going to have some cool ideas I'm going to do. And today is going to do some really simple designs. And also it's really quick, simple. Everybody can definitely enjoy doing this. So I have the palettes right here. This is um, the palettes of the colors with four colors. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add some of the colors on the side, like angle, to make it really cute. And then we're gonna put some chunk of voice on it 
and then if you want to you can leave it alone or you can do some crystal designs on it so let's get right into it and see what is gonna turn this color to All right, so I have a bluish color, so I'm going to use brush number 10. I'm going to move this palette of the crystal on the sides. I just slightly touch it. So, So on the background, I did this like beige and I applied two layer, each layer I feel for 60 seconds. If you want to do one layer, you can as well. I love that how is it easy to polish. Here for two seconds, and this one, if you want another layer to make this background darker, you can. Okay, two And after that, I'm gonna use a premium I hold shampoo for. I'm gonna apply it on. Thank you for Any foil, you can do it. So we hear that nails. Ooh, that's nice. that's so too. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to add this color to be darker, you can add another layer. So I'm doing one layer because I know that I'm going to put some foil on. If you love Chantal Foil Image and you're afraid of it's going to not go into chamfers for you the way you want it, and then it might be not chamfer really well for you this premium my whole shampoo form will definitely gonna be your best beat and then we're gonna go ahead and here for 30 seconds i'm debating between this color this is the one that i used last time on my nails on saturday on live videos we can use any colors this color is really really attract to super cute that's gorgeous. We'll see. We want to do it together and see how it's going to turn out. This one is also to repeat as well. This is so many forward colors, and you can able to do if you love like doing some of the designs. I'm gonna do it some of the look of it and see what is a good candidate. This one I still like the most. See, you have so much of fun that to do it. Yeah. 
get a really good slide. that is getting like air bubbles make sure you like it back up give it a good rub and you can put it in the food like so much nine like this now so now i'm gonna do everything this one i like it a lot using the lie out gel and add just a little bit on the line you can do so many different ways i got the videos before that i did share using the golden touch solid gel painting or if you have um, gel painting in the bottle you can use that as well or if you want to do a go for you can also do a go for too So now if you want this one, so if you want this one to be like just plain as it is, you can top coat it with the no wet top coat after you hear for 30 second flash key for that. And then top coat here for 60 second, you're good to go. But if you want any a crystal on, you can definitely add some crystal on as you prefer. This is really cute and simple, right? What should we do with all the uh boy first or we'll do each one finish maybe one finish mm -hmm. we, we can do one finish using this crystal okay. and this one is a cute one so you're gonna do like that on a palette be sure to don't touch it it's like very sensitive i just dropped the I just dropped a little of the gel palette on it, that's why it's cheap. But it's okay, you can place it back up because it doesn't have a, a crystal trifecta yet, so it's not able to nail it down. So, if you love crystal designs and you got, you know, after you finish the the uh, whole entire new set, but then the crystal looks good on the pictures and it was really nice, enjoy the pictures, and then a few days later, the clients will like notice that getting some of them not popping off this is definitely going to be a bestie and will back up every single time it will last you can keep your crystal last good four weeks plus or if, even like way longer and i'm going to show you how and it's not only bring is really the confidence for your clients when they're wearing it also for you so you don't have to worry and um, panic about if they are going to come off so first thing first, we're not using the condensed blue gels, really big densities. Also, is adheres so well. So you need to apply these good layers, not too thick, not too thin. I am going to apply it like spreading my bristle because you can see how good and thick it is. Um, this is more for all flat back, 3D charm chains you name it but if you are doing like a big crystal like a big charms and then huge 3d cluster crystals uh extra thick condensed blue gel is going to be a great candidate as well with this the condensed blue gels is really uh good adheres for your crystal so i want to fill you you know white chocolate right on the top So I got some of the crystal that plays when I got it from the um, little mix bag that I got it from the set box. However, I use a lot from the below in the dots and below in the black lights crystal kits. They give me a lot of ideas from all different centerpieces. Floating right on the top, make sure 
your bristles always stay on the top of the product so you just need to floating it right on the top of unkeyed condensed blue gel so i didn't keep anything with the condensed blue gel yet It looks like it's perfect for this design, though, maybe. Mm -hmm. This kind of like. I'm not going to. It's cool that it has the condensed blue gels and no white cup gold. So then you can adjust in your pistol, your frame, your charms without worry about it's gonna set there. So you have pretty much with a good time to adjusting them before your slide go ahead and clear. So the best thing to do is to pick the best thing to do when you start with the pistol design is really easy to so make yourself feel really confused. Place the central pieces in this two particulars is a few designs. I select the frame frame is going to be your center pieces so you are um for season your center pieces right there first and then you can add crystal on it and then you start adding your fillers around with your crystal designs so I'm gonna play. some beats and usually I'm doing beats right between the pistol and the pistol and then beats between pistol and frame Adjusting it, adjusting it however you want until you are going to like satisfy with this. I'm going to get the piece of the paper and write it on the edges to make sure that there's no excess gels. All right, so moving on the next one, we can do a different colors with it. This color is already so I'm like moving. I will do, I will do this one with blue. And then this one. And this one. And then this one. All right, so let's do the next one and see how it's going to turn out. I'm so excited. It's really cool. And as I say, you can always do like a French look mm -hmm. and one else we should do a French look. You can do this back, you don't have to do it like perfect line. And on this one, I'm going to do a line set of um, illuminating light art. I can do the golden touch. Look how easy it is. Just so smooth. Oh, that's not super cute. 
And then last step we're gonna do with the pieces and blue shells. But we're gonna do all of them at once. So that was a cute. This one I really like it. I really, really like it. Oh, I love that how the background is giving a little bit of really cool. Like see through it, you don't have the background of this color. I love this. It's like four colors in one color, so you can't never go wrong with this. And then again, so I'm gonna add in a premium I go shampoo for it. Okay, but if you want shampoo for you can put sticker on, you don't have to do you can do stickers and then enjoy it. Like I have the sticker for my box. You can also do stickers as well, you know. There's a lot of possibility and an option you can do, but I'm gonna add some uh premium I will shampoo for you on. Make sure you are going to add it on and cover to where you are going to place your your shampoo for Maybe one nail at a time so then you can all follow. If you are hop in and hop out, you can want to get that. And then on this nose, let's see what is going to be good for that colors. I'm looking for some like greenish. I think this one is a good one. This one is a good one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to do that one. Okay. Let's see. 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 This one is cool. I like I don't want anything. I don't want anything. Mm -hmm. See? You see that? How cute it is? Is it a little good on this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a great idea for you to do it's like upsells on the service, add additionals of designs on, and it just not only the makeup clients is really excited about every time they get in the nail sun, also it helps upsell for your services. Add on, just imagine if each of the clients you're adding like $10, which is two rings fingers. Just talking about two rings fingers, you know, you already increase of is good. You already increase of good of like $10 each client. You get five clients a day, an additional $50 a day already. And then you work four days a week. So it's going to be $200 of additional in your income of that week already. Just talking about just like $5 each meal. So I am going to be using the golden touch on this design. Using my brush number three as a light brush. And then you don't have to go straight in this line unless you want to. If you want just to end it in like a little bit of a wavy look. 
Then mm -hmm. just a quick reminder to everyone who's just tuning in. We're currently on the last few days of our anniversary stream month. We have until the 31st to get 20% off our entire website at blissaccessionsus.com. All right, happy with this. We're here. You can add, you can make it right As I said, you can add some crystal charm chains. Okay, so the first nails I did this line with the line art. This is the first one I'm using, like illuminating light art. This looks a little bit of it's a lot of shimmery when you when you have a flashlight on, which is like that look. And the second nails we did with the lining, the gel painting, golden touch is still my favorite as well. It's so deep in the pigment. It's really, it's um, really like pigmented. It's perfect for lining and painting and anything. And then also if you have your um, gel painting in the bottle, which is the gold. And we can do this crystal on this one. Uh, I think it will pop in the middle. Mm -hmm. So now, as I said, you can stop at any point. You do not have to add any crystal on whatsoever. But the clients will love it. They want some crystals on, and there you go. So. I'm going to add some crystal on. Uh, so, using the crystal trifecta, also, don't forget you are receiving your free crystal trifecta with an order of $199. Mm -hmm. It's after tax discounts and shipping fee. So, you don't have to add it on unless you want another crystal trifecta. Okay? Loading the no white top coat. This I definitely will take more crystal designs to the next day. Mm -hmm. Loading on the top. Make sure you're floating. You don't want to drag your condensing gels. So floating on the top so is give it another layer. It's not only one finish. After here, it's going to be completely done with all soon. It's going to give it a couple, a double secure for your crystal when you place your crystal. This one. So when it happens like that, all you need to do is to get a piece of paper. If I see that I have a little bit touch of the condensed uh blue gel so i'm not using the alcohol and clean that off because you want to clean that condensed blue gel on the top of the crystal so it's keep it nice and clean i'm so glad this happened to show you because a lot of you ask me what happened if my um crystal is getting like accidentally stick on the condensed blue gel just pick that one up and then clean it with your 99% alcohol to remove it first before you close the packaging. That's why you don't have to do it when you're doing it right now because it's happened here, so it's still loose. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the centerpieces. I want to get some of the centerpieces from my my uh, mix bag right there. And I have, you know, my place them together. Centerpieces first, and then you can add frame around and then just 
pillar of your SS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it like when you place it on, make sure you give it a little, little bit pressure down so make sure that the base of the crystal will place it and anchor down to the condensed gels and to the Nova token. There are two layers there. That's going to wrap your crystal in place. So I'm going to go ahead and add some beads. Okay, you can skip it, the beads, if you don't want to. Adding on the best place adding place all your beads is to do it right between your crystals between your crystal and frame With this, we're going to place this under an LED light for 60 seconds. But um, before that, I'm going to be using the piece of paper and wipe it off on the edges to keep the shape nice and precise. All right, okay. Ooh, so far, two of them, I like it a lot. And then moving on to the next one, it's so cute. All right, so these two colors, because I'm so excited and so curious when we're doing the um, colors, the I hope color palettes. And I want to see all the different colors. You know, you can do it as a solid color. You see a lot of different videos that I did. And then also the... This one is almond, almond milk and... You can add more if you, if you want yours like angle design to be a little bit more like a bigger. You can cut however you would like.
Oh, you can't transfer yet. Oh, you have to apply it. Yes, you can't transfer the channel point. I, said, I don't think it's going to work. I think I haven't put so premium. I have a chance to avoid. Don't forget it because it's not going to transfer for you. Magic's not going to happen. It's only happening when we have a premium. I have a chance to avoid on. Is it wait? I'm so excited. I speak for you guys that. So now we go. You just want to go to wizardsexandsearch.com. Go to drop down list, the shop, and go to med art. Med shop. Oh, man. This Metatron? Mm -hmm. It's all, all the all the kits. It has that as well. Yes, like you all can of... also get our kit. Our kit always has a lot of charms included. It's a lot of kits that. Um, there are a lot of like ultimate crystal kit. You can buy the cool metal charms as well. They always come in the kit, so then it's convenient. So you have everything. You have so much for your money in any kit, and it has all of the crystal you can work with and play with. And then also this crystal kit right here, glow in the dark and the glow in the black light. That's also the Boots um, collection, which I've been using for a long time and has so many of the charms and frames. This is a fit number two, and there's a fit number. Oh, I think that's the one that needs to be. Oh, but yeah, this one that needs to be fit number two. I love it. The, the crystal, crystal. And you can use it with any shape of the crystal, it doesn't have to be just that. So I am going to end it this morning. I know that you have so much business sometimes. If you are, I have beauty points on my hands, so sometimes it gets really sleepy, and sometimes you couldn't get into every single like edges. It's gonna definitely be. Beautiful. And then we can add some. On this one, what I'm going to do, I am going to leave it alone like this. We can add crystal one as you want to, but I'll leave two with just no crystal. But I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and do the veining, but I'm going to add the veining for you, okay? So I'm going to wipe off a little bit of this. And feel for sticky sticking, and then we can show you how to do the four things. We do two with no uh, crystal. How about that? That's how good. Yes, then you have an option of this or this. And then same thing with this, we are go ahead and add the last columns.
And we're going to put one drop of Premium's iHome Shampoo for you. Just a drop right here. my whistle in the premium eye hole shampoo for it. And now I'm going to go ahead and use it to just draw it along with the line. So if you want your baby to be like this, you might be first. You can add a little bit more if you want your baby to be so the focus is I turn it up. I, uh, I put it the robot top coat on because you don't want it to touch you and have the residues on the top. Okay, so I'm going to put it the I want to use the cocaine, this one. We're going to apply the premium eye oil shampoo for it again. Because in order for us to clear, we have to have the shampoo for it gel. So today, like gel powders, we use all of the shampoo for it fun. And you see me do the stickers as well, shampoo for it. And this is going to help all the beginners. You're going to pierce your traffic voice easily. Nice, quick, simple, and easy. Here for 30 seconds. That's when it's All right, so now I've yet to apply the premium I hold chance of oil, and it is a line along, baking along with the oil. And then the oil, I using the hollows in this oil. So it also has all different colors, silver, gold, and has different patterns as well. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right along. You can see that the baby is like have the uh, emboss right there. So what I need to do is to get in my... Users, and I have the other end which will rub it nicely and it's give it a good pressure on. Make sure it's getting chamfers everything. And let's see what's up with this one. So beautiful. Chamfer, look at the vein. Look at the vein with this one. The whole line is chamfer. How much 99% for you? So now, either the option you don't have to pack the whole entire thing, all you need to do is just to top coat your veining and keep for 60 seconds and then you're good to go. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get the drop of the know what top coat. This is know what top coat. And just give it a quick like, seal it. But you don't have to seal the nails again because you did finish with the top coat already. All you need to just go in and just seal the boy baby. That's all you need to do. Yeah, this 
Sometimes it's a bit like So now, if you want this to be matte, do matte top fold, okay? So you don't have to do shiny top fold, you can do matte top fold. You can love to do like a little top fold, and like let's have a whole silver no white top, and then a rose gold no white top. If you like that top, so you can put it on. You don't have to put just a clear shiny top, you can do clear matte top fold. And I will make sure you can do it in the clear 60 seconds. This nails is done. It's super cute. We are doing the top coat. Uh, we don't even consider the blue gel for me. And I'm going to get this in premium eye hole chunk of A twin tip brush work as well. If you have number four single brush, it works as well. And then this is the one that I'm using this number three is the line brush. So I'm going to just trace it along with the colors. You can make sure like the thing how you want to stop to you. Here for 30 seconds. Okay. Do you want me to do one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You can do a lot as well. Okay, okay. so I uh, just want to see green. All right, so let's see green. Let's see how it's going to turn out. You can do green, you can do silver. Silver looks good though. Mm -hmm. You can do silver. You can do silver, you can do green. Today's tutorial is really fun. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really into it. And I said, wow, this is also my really cute one too. I like it a lot, especially the background of the, of the kind of a lightish, kind of cool blue though. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I caught trendy blue. All right, so we're just going to review this one. I want to see the blue one. Don't worry, you can just make sure you lay it there because it will not transfer to anywhere else but only on the bending I apply because I cap it with the you know what top coat already, so it's not going to transfer everywhere. It's only transfer before it's only transfer to where I apply the premium eye hole transfer toy. Because it's rough. 
They try for everything. Like, I would say 99%. Like a little one dot right here. But look at that. It's a four. Right? So then now you don't have to coat it again. All you need to do is to trace your vein that we did. Top coat it. Using the you know what top coat. And in the meantime, we're waiting for that beauty to be here. We're going to do a pre-season glue job. This is not only going to be done, but this is what definitely will take your is crystal placement to the next level. Not only looks gorgeous, but also keep all of your crystals on the client's nails or your nails to last really well without fetching the hair or the clothes or it's getting all this, you know, metal frames getting tarnished. So I'm going to go ahead and using that, take advantage from that part of the needle. It's really precise. I'm going to go ahead and do a little exam. I can feel that scratchy right here. So when I do the exam, I didn't squeeze anything out yet. So I'm going to squeeze it right now. If I feel it scratchy, you need it to fill in. So I'm going to do, I'm going to seal completely, cap completely all the metal frame, charms right here, frame. And then leave the crystal alone, but then only check around the crystal base you don't want to cover your crystal because you're taking away from the beautiful cut and sparkle on it only you need to seal the metal frame and make sure you cover and cap it because it, it can really help avoiding getting all that metal getting tarnished top coat might cover a little bit but it's not going to cover it's really cool and strong like your pieces and blue gels because this prison blue gel is able to seal it really nice and it will last longer. So I'm going to go ahead and seal, seal, seal. In the meantime, I'm going to check around the crystal base. You see that? And I sealed it around this without covering the top of the crystal if you don't want it to destroy it. All right, continue. If you uh, need to repeat this step again, do so and make sure give it a 30 second here between the layer if you want to repeat this step however after you repeat the step make sure you place it under ld lights and here pull here for 60 seconds to completely clean so i'm going to repeat the same and right here scratching the screen just a little bit a little go a long way you don't need to like be loading all of your pistol with this is in blue gel because the condensed blue gels and the white top coat is already like wrap the base of the crystal so now I'm just like going between right here and feel scratchy on the edges I'm going to just squeeze just a little bit in and what it does is this is a blue gel will fill in all the gap and it will triple secure all right here this one for 50 seconds and then that is so awesome. I'm going to use this right now. I'm going to put it in here. All right, so I'm going to share with you the pricing for this one. How do I go on this one? Mm -hmm. oh. I see. Okay, I do this two on the left angle and the other two on the right angle. I got you. As I can like, say, why these two on the same side? But if you're doing the two rings figure, you can do the left ones on this angle and then the others go opposite, like the two other nails that I did. So for this design, it's really cute and simple, and you can do it really, really awesome. Special when you do it. This is the two techniques going on in here. So suggest when you're doing this, the time for four, we do a minimum of six dollars for this. You can do this one at probably about seven dollars per nails, eight dollars per nails. 
for the clients when they are doing the, the design like this it's really fair for you and the clients also just for your reference and then you can also um, apply it accordingly to the salon location your technique your skills your special promotion you're going to do for your clients so eight dollars it should be after eight dollars i would say six seven dollars but i will put it here so it means that you can price it eight dollars if some salon doing it ten dollars you can do it seven dollars or eight dollars because there you have a boy and then you have the linings the veinings on the boy and then for this cute design So on this two designs, we have, it's not only the baby, so it starts from $8. And this is going to be $10 for the center pieces when you're doing like this simple cute pistol design. It's not only have the center pieces, it's also have a metal frames and it's cute, like have a jewelry design. So this one, if you're adding this, it's going to be another uh, $10. So then what you do when you do call, Combo for the client, you can definitely offer clients this is for like fifteen dollars to sixteen dollars. It's really a fair for you and also fine. So do fifteen to sixteen. Okay. There's also every single price I will share with you is really is depend on your salon location your technique your skill your promotion you run it for the clients but at least you're pricing some layer that i doing this is, is as a combo the clients have the chance of boy and then crystals you can do it combo for the clients and then if you do this two on this two rings finger you already made an additional of 30 dollars on the top of the new set or whatever the client's doing feel new set like say additional 15 dollars on the top of the service for instance like just imagine it or if you are counting it you have five clients i'll say minimum or average of five clients a day is you will make additional of 150 dollars per day because 30 dollars per now per two additional designs on it and not including your service i'm talking of not talking about the services additionals on the top of your new set like say if you have a new set of 45 dollars 55 dollars 65 dollars additional 30 dollars if you have five clients or 50 uh, thirty dollars so you make additional of 150 dollars a day and if your work is five days a week or four days a week five days a week will make you is six hundred dollars additional just anyway it's really cool though <laughs> it's just like oh it does and it does help me so much when i do with the clients for throughout so many years and i hope it will give you some ideas and it hope will bring you some inspirations and if you haven't started yet for any of this similar um of accessory and the crystal on the top of the new set it's not too late to start and you can definitely able to check out a lot of different videos that i show step by step and how you apply them on it from a to z and also a pricing for your clients as well um, if you're first time tuning in, welcome, welcome to Gliss and feel free to check out a lot of our videos. Have any other questions regarding to, to, to our tutorials and the product, feel free to DM. Our team will be so happy to assist you with any questions regarding to product and tutorials. And also, please enjoy. There are a few more days left. There are like four more days left to take advantage from 20% site weight on our official website. And then our fifth anniversary treasure box is about to end really soon in a few days. And don't miss out on an opportunity to own all of the really, really like the main essential products for your business. Great for beginners and also a lot of nail techs who want to add additionals on your inventory. And if you have questions for the shipping and order feel free to email us info at our team will take care of you as soon as possible thank you so much until the next live thanks so much on the youtube fam see me on youtube valeria on youtube thanks so much instagram fam for tuning in youtube fam 
TikTok fam and Facebook fam. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next live. Bye.